Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. As expected, on this game of FIFA 22 Ultimate Team yesterday, we had the mid-icon upgrade SBC dropped in this game as it was leaked, as it was predicted, all that kind of stuff. And it was a decent value SBC. And late, basically what we talked about in yesterday's video about panic selling, the market bouncing back, fodder going up a little bit, it all kind of went according to plan, just as we talked about it yesterday. So because of that, there were some nice profits that we made on the market. And I just want to talk about trading right now in this game a little bit. How I'm actually loving trading right now inside of FIBA 22 Ultimate Team, just because the market is in a very healthy place. This promo for headliners, you know, there's some cool cards, but there's a lot of new faces on the game with the people getting the game for Christmas and starting the game fresh. And there's, it just feels like this market has some life to it, right? It feels very, I don't know, stable. And it, it feels like people are buying cards. They're having fun on FIFA at the moment. And, you know, it feels very strong and stable. So I want to talk about this market and how everything yesterday with the base icon SBC kind of went like we said it was going to. I want to also talk about the 81 plus double upgrade packs that were released, um, how SBC fodder moved and how maybe if you still have fodder holding on to that could be a play and also taking a look at the kind of a market outlook for the next day or so with Tuesday content today. How are they going to back that up? You know, there's a couple rumors of what content might be coming today on Tuesday. So if you made coins yesterday, like a lot of people on FIFA did, I really think a lot of people made coins on FIFA yesterday. So if you were one of those, hit the thumbs up on this video. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's take a look at this SBC and how we made coins off of it yesterday. Now, I told the Twitch chat as we were live streaming yesterday, cheeky plug, Twitch stream down below, click that link, streaming live almost every day. Um, I said to the chat that I would do the mid icon upgrade SBC if it was less than 400,000 coins. And it is definitely less than 400,000 coins coming in at 350 to 370 K. The price has gone up a little bit because SBC fodder has risen just a little bit as we predicted it would. Uh, this is, you know, if there was ever a icon SBC to gamble on, this is the first time they've dropped the mid. A lot of people had a lot of SBC fodder and tradable. You see a pretty 74% upvote on this SBC. A decent amount of people did this SBC yesterday, and you could tell by the way the market moved, both on the SBC fodder side of things and on the meta market side of things, which is where I made a lot of coins yesterday because there was some panic selling. So since this SBC was a little bit cheaper and more affordable than expected or just right around in that range where it's a gamble right now, again, depending on your perspective and how you view these SBCs, I usually don't like to take the gamble because a lot of times it is not worth your coins, right? And that's what you have to decide whether or not you did this SBC for fun, for trying to pack something sick. If you have, you know, fodder in your unsigned that you have untradeable duplicates and you just got to get rid of it, whatever your case uh, or situation may be. I think this SBC is like, it's okay. If you want to take a gamble, it's not a terrible one to gamble on. It's the first mid icon. It's come out like 20 days earlier than last year. So it's not bad and it's not bad value either for this stage of the game, in my opinion. And a lot of people agreed. And that is why you saw SBC fodder kind of go up a little bit on the market. We'll talk about that in a second. But that's also why you saw a lot of more popular meta cards drop on the game yesterday and this is how we made a lot of coins and this is exactly what we talked about in yesterday's video we knew that if the sbc coming out was going to be a decent price we knew that some of these price drops were going to happen so like i said in yesterday's video a lot of stuff that i went out and bought was after the content drop after the icon sbc was released and i bought cards that were rare that are popular that are meta right the three things that we always check off right i bought a baby scn at 670k this uh baby del piero was 570 he went down to 515. I bought one there, sold them at 557. This Prime Mateus was a flip early in the morning. Uh, bought at 31, sold at 35, uh, which was a W. I was not expecting him to go up and sell in the first hour that I listed him, but that was nice. I bought a Cordoba at 415, sold it at 450. One of the bigger moves that I made was this Atal card. I bought a bunch of these at 76 to 78,000 coins, and I sold them at 86 to 87. So that was a nice bounce back. And I still have a lot of cards here. Uh, that I'm still looking to sell. I have some Fire and Babus. Um, I've got some Van Dykes and I still have some Suarez, right? I bought Suarez for 327 and 325,000 coins. I got some Eden Hazards in the low 230s. I got some Mbabus at like 100,000 coins with good chem styles. 
I got a Joe Gomez at 357. So let's go take a look at this uh, Suarez because I might be realistic and kind of low. But this is this was yesterday on this game was just it was almost predictable, right? And that's how we we knew that if the SBC yesterday was a good price, we knew that it was going 333. That's kind of an undercut right there. I'm gonna let that one sit for now. It's gonna get bought up, but. You know, a lot of these prices have bounced back since that SBC was low. People had to sell cards. And yes, there were coins that were taken off the market yesterday um, because people had to go and do that mid icon SBC. So people technically on the market yesterday, there was probably a lot of coins lost. But if you pick the right cards like we did here, and there was many other cards that did this same sort of movement. Again, the popular rare meta, right? This is the stuff that bounces back after people panic sell cards to go and do the SBC, to go buy SBC fodder. They go back and buy these cards to their teams. Take a look at Collins, right? The boy Collins from Winter Wild Cards. Um, I think this was from Team 2. 63,000 coins. He went all the way down to 58. And I can tell you for a fact that he was like 56, 57,000 coins rising all the way back up to 61, 62,000 coins, right? So he rose almost back up to where he was before the panic started happening. The Atal is another great example, currently about 86,000 coins where I sold him at. He was 87K before the content drop, went down to the 80K range, like right upon the SBC release. And he was actually like 76, 77 for a, uh, a quick, like 30 minutes or so. Then he rebounded back up because again, that's how this stuff works. And that's why I really wanted to talk through how you can make coins during this time frame is because whenever they release an SBC like this, whether it's a party bag, whether it's an icon upgrade, so like a gamble type of pack, like this is, this is a gamble, right? You could pack any mid icon or, you know, like they do for the party bags, you could pack any player from these specific promo teams and it's a gamble, right? And people love these SBCs. So almost every single time one of these drops, people sell cards to go do the SBC to raise coins so they can go and buy SBC fodder. And then again, they have to buy some cards back for their team because they still got to play their foot champ or their, their rivals games for the week. They got to get their foot champs qualifiers in. So they go and buy their teams back after they go and do that SBC. We see this movement literally every single time there's a gamble SBC like this on this game. You see, you, you see the panic selling and the drop and because these cards are obviously not getting packed, they're not in packs. This is all purely from people selling the card to get coins. And then boom, it goes right back up because people go back and they buy this card. It works the best on like the mid to low tier and on whatever cards are involved in the pack, right? So there were mid icons involved today. So a lot of icons were really, really good to trade with. But if you take a look at like the rest of the market on this game, like I bought Hazard, right? These were the, the sorts of cards that I was looking at yesterday on this market. Hazard right now is actually back down to 243. He was uh, 257 where you saw me sell when he was 250 sitting earlier. So he's maybe back down a little bit, but Hazard went from 260K down to the 230s and rose back up to 250,000 coins. Now there's not a ton of profit in that, but there's a decent amount of profit, right? Uh, let's see who else was down. Genduzi, we talked about this card, right? Genduzi is back to 223k. He was actually down to 200,000 coins, almost flat. He was like 203, 204,000 coins. So if you bought that in the low 200s, you're now selling at 10k profit plus, uh, back up to 220k. There were just there's so many examples as we look across this game. Take a look at Delane. This dude's 90,000 coins. Take a look at this card. He was 87k. Went down to 80,000 coins flat. I remember seeing when the SBC was released, he was actually at 80K flat. He is now back up to 90,000 coins. That's a very popular, very new hype left back card in this game. There's so many great examples that we look through the other wildcard team. Uh, Modric went from 800K back to like 860. He's now back down at 830. Uh, Fabinho was down more than this. Coman was 580. He was ba uh, back up to 630. There were so many great fluctuations yesterday. Some of the, the versus ice and fire cards. Gabriel Jesus was down towards 800. Uh, Valverde was 625,000 coins. He's now back up to over uh, 670K. This Rashford fire was like 390. He's now back up at 419 to 420. So that's the kind of movements that you saw on the market yesterday. And that's where like the number one place was to make coins in my opinion. Now, if you still have some of these cards like I do, and you're like, Nate, you just looked at Hazard and he was down again, right? He was like at, at uh, 243. I'm not in a hurry to sell these cards because honestly, I don't know what content coming out later on this week is gonna make these cards drop a lot more, except for whenever EA decides to do compensation. I don't think that's gonna be for a couple of days yet, in my opinion. So uh, what the way that I see it is, 
Uh, you know, if the content continues to be just kind of quiet or not as insane, and the content so far these past this past week of the Headliners promo has been exactly that. It's been kind of lackluster, just okay. Besides the SBC yesterday, this stuff is probably just going to continue to creep back up um, as people go out and buy cards for teams and stuff like that. So I am definitely not in any hurry to sell these cards by like today on Tuesday or tomorrow on Wednesday. Not yet, because there's really nothing to panic for on this game. Now, let's take a look at fodder, right? I know I mentioned SBC fodder. Some of you guys might have these cards still. And depending on what rating you have, I might advise you to keep holding because there's a couple things that are, are leaked, right? We still have a couple SBCs that are supposed to be coming. I don't know if you guys remember us talking about a Edward, Odson Edward Crystal Palace, another uh, Premier League striker, like a record breaker SBC that is evidently still an SBC that is coming out kind of soon. I know they just dropped a bomb yang, so it might not be right away. That SBC could rise fodder a little bit if it's really cheap. And there's also rumors of an 84 plus player pick, which a lot of people who have bought and invested in 83s or 84s are really hoping that that player pick requires an 83 or an 84 rated squad to get that done because some of this lower tier fodder might still have some room to grow because that would be another sort of gamble pack that EA could release. And let's say they release that 84 plus player pick SBC today. The same cards that you saw drop in price on this game yesterday because of the uh, mid icon upgrade, you're going to want to watch those same exact items today on this game. You're going to want to go through and if, if you missed out on some of these cards yesterday or if you were watching the market and you didn't have the guts to buy or whatever it may be, go take a look, right? Go look through some of these, spend 10 to 15 minutes, scroll through these cards, look through some graphs and say, okay, these cards moved yesterday. I want to pick up some of these that will maybe move today, depending on your price range, right? This Militao, he's back up to 660,000 coins. He was 600K flat. Take a look at this. He was 600k flat and absolutely exploded. He actually exploded higher than where he was um, uh, after or before uh, the SBC was released yesterday. But like this Di Maria was down under 280,000 coins. Uh, Ter Stegen was down pretty low. And all of these out of pack special cards like the Suarez that I was buying. Yeah, he's 346 right now. I mean, I bought him actually after he had gone up a little bit. He was like 315k. And again, this Suarez just fits the bill of a popular card that is rare. Boom. It says 330, but he was actually 315. He went back to 350 where I sold one. He's just kind of been chilling at like 340s. But I think this card is going to go back to 350, 360. So that's why I'm still holding on to him. So this is what I would watch out for today or whenever they drop the 84 plus player pick because that is a kind of confirmed leak, right? An 84 plus player pick SBC. Um, whenever they drop that, you probably won't see as much panic selling for it because in reality, how many people need to sell um, cards to like panic sell some cards in their team to go out and get an 84 plus player pick SBC done? You probably wouldn't see as much panic. But again, the same kind of theory applies. Since it is a gamble SBC, you could see some of that. Now, uh, Conte was one card that dropped a lot yesterday. He went from 180K down to 150K and is now back up to about 170 um, I mean, this is still Conte, right? Is he going to go back to 180K today? I don't necessarily think he'll go up another 10,000 coins. He might go like 175, so close to 180. But, you know, when you have big drop-offs in the market like this too, I like going to the out-of-packs cards the best because, you know, it, it is, again, these SPCs are taking coins off of the market so people have less buying power to, to get back on the market and buy cards back. So, that's kind of, again, I know I just talked about it for a long time. And you're like, Nate, why are you still talking about this? We get it, right? You buy the panic and you sell later when people are buying back. Exactly. That is what you do. And it made us a ton of coins yesterday. I just want you guys to get this down because this sort of market movement happens all the time. It literally happens all the time on this game. And if you can get these sorts of like trades and movements down and learn how to trade in and out of these sorts of panic selling movements and uh, these windows like this, then you're going to be able to up your trading game and your coin making abilities are going to absolutely skyrocket um, if you can kind of learn those fluctuations. So, you know, like this Joe Gomez, he was he was 400,000 coins yesterday. So me listing at 397, I'm fine listing this into today. Like I got no problem with that. These Mbabus, like with a shadow, heck yeah, I'm going to listen for a little bit more. I'm not going to list these all at once because I don't want them to be flooding the market with listings. Um, that's one thing I would also give you guys a little bit of a tip of too, is don't flood the market with some of these listings. 
Um, but it was just a fantastic day to trade yesterday, right? Again, some prime icons. There was some panic selling in the morning. Whenever you see, like, I'm talking like 25 to 30% drop offs, that's how I knew this Mateus was too low yesterday. He was 3.1 million coins sitting. Uh, and now he's back to 359, even higher than where I sold him at. You know, when you see that big of a percentage of drop off, and I made two trades in the past two days that kind of show that. This Mbappe headliner, when I bought him on Sunday morning, he was four, I bought him for 4.1 million coins. I sold him for 4.5, and he's still around 4546. But he went from 4.9 mil Saturday night to 4.1 Sunday morning. Whenever you see panic like that, and it's not like, you know, EA is rumored to be dropping preview packs or there's a brand new insane content like promo coming out. If, if there's nothing that is like either leaked with really high assuredness or if there's, you know, a insane content coming, if there's nothing like that and it's just like, okay, the content that's supposedly coming isn't that insane and there's all this panic selling on this card, then, you know, it's of course still a bit of a risky play, but get involved when you see that a big of amount of a panic sell. So that's kind of what I would just, again, encourage you guys to do. The 84 plus player pick could be some coming very soon, but it also could be a quiet day on the market today on Tuesday as we head through this headliners promo. We're still waiting for that compensation. And as of right now, I see no EA tweets about compensation. I know that they said in their tweet, they said, um, early, they said early this week, they said early this week is when they're going to be, uh, let's see, what, what did it say? It said, uh, it'll take some time to identify it. We'll provide an update early next week. They tweeted this on Friday. So early this week, they're going to give us some updates. So I would imagine like today it would still qualify on the early next week time frame of things. So hopefully we get some more information on this. But if some of you guys are like, yo, Nate, when can I buy uh, a headliners card? Or when can I, you know, look to buy some of these cards that are in these packs right now? I would still wait. I know a lot of people are hyped about Acuna and some of these cards did go up yesterday. Actually, um, after the weekly rewards time frame, Serge Nabry had an absolutely crazy rise. He went from 200,000 coins all the way to 260. He peaked right here. He was actually 260K. Then he went back down to 220s and now to like 212 where he is at the moment. Um, but, you know, Van Dyke was like 590K. He went back up to 630, 640. Kula Bali was 190,000 coins, I believe. Um, yeah, he was 200K at rewards, went to 218, went down to 190, and then kind of went back to like 208 where he is at the moment. But still, I can't tell you right now to buy one of these cards for your team unless it's just to, to try out for a few games with those compensation packs that are coming. That's really going to hurt the market. So that's another impending thing that is kind of out there. But it is just, it's such a great market to trade right now. Whether you're trading with prime icons, whether you're trading with baby icons, mid icons, any sort of icons, whether you're trading with out of pack special cards like we did yesterday with the market movements that kind of were created by EA and the content that they dropped. It is just an absolutely fantastic time to be trading on this game because there are a lot of market movements, but there's also um, just, there's just, it just seems to be that there's a market where a lot of people are buying cards, trying cards out. They're playing the game. There's people that are on FIFA right now, and that causes fluctuations on these cards that are specifically the out of packs versions. Like we've been talking about, you see the, the biggest and the best amount of fluctuation with those. So I know that yesterday's content was kind of like a crazier day and we don't always see SBCs like that dropped every day for sure. But if you can kind of learn how the market moves when content is dropped along these lines, you're going to be way ahead of the game when content like this comes out later on, whether it's this week, whether it's next uh, month, or whether even it's next uh, like year in, in the next FIFA. Like If you can learn the panic selling, buying in the panic, and knowing that people are going to go back and buy their teams up, and you can kind of buy when they're selling and then sell when they're buying, kind of flip that window, you can be a, you, you can kind of, I guess, go against the tide of the market and make a ton of coins. So that is why we made a lot of coins yesterday and we really talked about it in yesterday's video too. So I hope a lot of you guys made some coins, whether you sold some fodder or whether you didn't. A lot of the fodder that moved was again on like the, the mid tier, like 85s I think did the best yesterday, but it didn't really bang and we didn't expect it to bang, but there could be more SBCs coming and there could be, there's not a lot of supply at the moment either. So if you're holding on to SBC fodder, I don't, I don't hate that move. I really don't. Uh, holding it before team of the year where EA is probably going to uh, suck some coins from this market and from this game.
that is a decent shout to be holding at this time. Also, EA releases 81 plus double upgrade. I know it's not a player pick, so some people don't like it, but we did a couple of these and we opened some on stream yesterday and these were insane. They were really, really good upgrade packs. So maybe try a few of those out um, because those are actually hitting really, really nice for informs, for SBC fodder cards. You could probably craft a mid icon by doing a few of those and using some other stuff in your club uh, because they're giving out such good items from those packs. So it's of course a gamble with those as well, but seems like those are paying out decently well. So I know that it's like, yo, Nate, there's not a lot of market stuff going on right now, except for that whole panic with the, and then the buyback. Hopefully we see more of that this week. I know the content for headliners has been just average, but it has made for a very, very good market to trade in. So I hope you're enjoying this market right now because I'm making a lot of coins and I hope you guys are as well. But that's the video for today. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>